Alright, so as a lot of you guys probably know, it's currently Pride Month, which always means a whole bunch of people are coming out as LGBTQ+, and things of that nature. And actually, just a few days ago, Jelly Bean came out on Twitter. Also, my fault if I sound terrible in this video. I, I think I have COVID. That's not even a joke. I was trying to use one of those COVID testing kits earlier, and it is literally so confusing. There's nine steps. It is unnecessarily difficult to find out if you have COVID, but Jelly Bean made a tweet saying, I think now is a good time to tell everyone everyone that I am non-binary and go by they them pronouns. Now believe it or not, Jellybean actually got a ton of hate and backlash over this, which is so insane. This is literally just a girl making a tweet, or my fault. This is literally just a person making a tweet saying they, they, they don't like being identified as a guy or a girl. Like how can you even get mad at that? You see that someone doesn't prefer female or male pronouns and you're just like what, screaming at the top of your lungs, punching walls? I mean you definitely gotta be a complete weirdo to even get mad at this type of stuff. How does Jelly Bean's pronouns affect you in any way? One person here replied to Jelly Bean and said, that's too bad. I don't respect that. How you go from she, her to she, they, and now they, them. This stuff is made up, so no, I'm not addressing you as such. See, this is the problem with the internet and how anybody can have an opinion. Who asked uh, that one goofus doofus whether or not they respected Jelly Bean's pronouns? If you don't respect the their pronouns, just ignore them. Why do you need to make a tweet announcing that you don't respect Jelly Bean's pronouns? Another person made a reply and said, Donald Trump is the greatest president of all time. This is obvious, but I feel like I have to share this with you Democrats without a brain. No other president compares to Trump. He is the polar opposite of Biden, the worst president of all time. How, how did Jelly Bean coming out turn into like a presidential debate about how Trump is the greatest president of all time? I feel like that's just factually and objectively not true. And this person just made some fan art of Jelly Bean after they came out, and someone replied to this saying, Nobody cares if she came out. She already came out. This is like effing news. Jesus Christ, you artistic squirrel. I'm not gonna say the real word, because that is not okay. This person is a, is a, they need to go on timeout. P.S. F. Pride Month. I, I will just never understand people who get mad at someone coming out. Like, I don't even understand the mentality of these people. And this next reply is the most insane one I saw. This person is literally saying that Jelly Bean should die for this. June is June. If you're a man, you're a man. If you're a girl, you're a girl. If you're non-binary, you're saying you're an alien. I'm sorry. But if you gay, read this. Le Le Levitatus 2013. If a man is attracted to a man, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall be put to death. First of all, Jelly Bean's not a man, so I'm not sure how that uh, applies to them. But uh, is this person implying that Jelly Bean should be put to death or anyone that's a part of the LGBTQ community should be put to death for, uh, I guess, not identifying with the gender they were born with? These type of people are genuinely insane, especially considering Jelly Bean is a minor. I can guarantee some of these people are grown men out here hating on Jelly Bean for being non-binary. You, you gotta get a life. But with that being said, let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Should, I guess, Jelly Bean be canceled for being non-binary? Definitely let me know. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. As long as I don't die from COVID, I'm out.